Arts now. Celebrated journalist Rita Tinina's funeral service is currently underway at her family's home in Osopai Farm, Narok County. Rita, who died following severe pneumonia, will be laid to rest today. Let's cross over and listen in. Asante Nisana, God is good and all the time. Asante Nisana. Kwa sikio leo ni kwa hapa kutoa pole zangu kwa familia ya Rita Tinina. Pole Nisana. Rita was a personal friend. We worked together as I was in the political field. Alikuwa anatupangia kazi with the media. So pole Nisana, so nimekuja hapa as a friend and the bible says in john 14 1 that do not let your heart be troubled for you need to believe in the almighty god may the almighty god give you the strength to overcome the untimely demise of your loved one lastly ingependa kusema hapa ya kwamba wale wazuri ndio wanaenda Kini wale wabaya, ndiyo wanabaki. Wale wabaya, wale wazuri kama Rita, anaenda mapema. Wale wabaya kama nakumicha, wanasumbua madaktari, ndiyo wanabaki hapa Kenya. Anataka kuambia rais, awe na mkutano na madaktari, wagonjwa, wanakufa sana. Nalamwishu, ii mambo ya fertilizer. There is no way the government can allow such a thing to happen if they are not directly involved. And that is why tuliambiwa hapa, Raisa hezi ongelea mambo ya mbolea kwa sababu anajua ni nini metendeka. We want this government to take responsibility and the cabinet secretaries to resign for that matter. Awezi wekea watu mawe na ile mavia punda ati ni fertilizer. Mungu wa bariki, asanteni. Uh, asante sana, uh, mimi kwa majina naitua Anthony Kibagendi, mimi ni mjumbe wa kitutu chache south. Na pia mimi nimekuja kuomboleza dada yetu uh, ambaye nilikuwa na mjua kwa mdamrifu. Si ndugu yangu talam peke ambaye alikuwa na mmezea mate. Ata mimi nilikuwa ile sauti yake ilikuwa inavutia sana. Lakini alikuwa menishinda umri kidogo. Nikajaribu kutuma, kutuma salamu zangu. Wakanembia mimi ni, ni kijana mdogo wakati huo. Lakini tumekuja kusema pole sana. Pole ni sana. Ya pili ni seme serikali eh, kupitia ndugu yangu talamu. We unaombea hawa kazi kwa media houses na we uko state house. Wewe ungeandika wa kazi mzuri permanent and pensionable mara moja watoto waweze kupata kazi. Na ingine niwaambie kwamba mimi nilikuwa mshauri wa president, nilikuwa advisor wa president wakati tulikuwa kwa campaign. Na tuliwaambia wakati huo tutatoa watu bottom tuwalete wapi? Bottom. Nyi mnaona hiyo maneno inaenda na mna hiyo kweli? Na ndio tunaambia hawa ambao wametoka state house tafadhali ambia rais na serikali yake wapunguze uongo wapunguze kiburi na wapunguze ukabila katika serikali sababu walimu hivi majuzi wameongezwa eh, mamlaka na hiyo ime... All right leaders the